Hello my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout Wild. Now in the last episode we discovered some mysterious bunny fur at the scene of the crime. Most likely from the real killer. Or perhaps it was just there by accident. Maybe, maybe Jumbo has been putting rabbits in his ice cream. Dun, dun, dun. No, it's probably not that. But anyway, I think this is the first trial, or at least it will be, as Officer Wild is saying. So, today is the day, huh? Don't worry, Nick. We'll get you out of this. I'm sorry, I can't... I wish I could do impressions, but I'm terrible. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence, Carrots. I have some evidence to support your innocence. If Edgeworth has seen this evidence too, he will likely steer the case in your favour. And if not, if he thinks you're truly guilty, then I've got a fight on my hands. Well, doesn't that make me feel loads better? Thanks so much, Spike. Don't worry, I've dealt with him a few times before. Quite a few, actually, yeah. We should probably get going. I've got to get you two to the courtroom. Understood. Let's get a move on. Oh, one thing. It's, well, about the judge. Yes, what about them? Oh, God, it's it's him, isn't it? Oh, well, who... Uh, <clears throat> oh, it's Phoenix. Wait, who even... Who is even presiding over this case? About that. Uh, there was another incident yesterday. It, it is. It's him. Oh, Lord. Incident? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, well, we ran into somebody who claims they know you. And since our normal judge caught the flu, he volunteered to fill in. It's him. Uh, come again? Eh, you'll see for yourself. Why do I have a sudden feeling of dread? That wasn't exactly the line, but still. Zootopia Courthouse, courtroom number two, June 20th, 11 a.m. Oh, look, humans. Oh, it's him. I knew it was him. It's Judge Judge. I think he had a real name, but I don't remember it. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Nicholas Wilde. Are the defense and prosecution ready? Uh, <laughs> yep. Agreed. Is something the matter? Your honor, may I inquire to how you are here? Oh, I see. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I found myself in the middle of this fascinating city, and when Miss Hops mentioned your names, I knew it must be fate. Fate, Your Honor? Oh, though I doubt this is a coincidence. Somebody has set this up. Dun dun dun! I wonder if it's the same person who set up the other one with the My Little Pony thing. Because that was that whole mystery thing, which we never discovered. Anyway, <clears throat> now that is cleared up, are we ready to start? The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. I've forgotten the voices I did for them, so I'm just going to have to see what happens. Very well, then. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. At once, of course. Um, Mr. Jumbo was murdered in his own parlor. The accused is ZPD officer Nick Wilde. By the, in the trial's end, I intend to see the truth brought to light. Whatever that truth may be. <clears throat> well said as always, Mr. Edgeworth. Now, where shall we begin? First off, I would like to call my first witness. The officer in charge of the case, who is also the chief of the ZPD at Precinct 1. I call Chief Bogo to the stand. All right then, time to see what the chief has to say. <clears throat> Hello? You called? Wit witness, please give your name and occupation. Bogo, chief of police. I forgot I gave him that voice. That is nothing like his voice, but still, it'll do. Well, you s I've forgotten his voice too, Jesus. So many voices. 
Well, you certainly fit the role. I suppose you're going to give us some more detail on the crime. That is correct, Your Honor. Witness, could you please testify as to what you know? <clears throat> of course, I can tell you what you want to know. Why is this his voice? Oh well, it's that now. Here we go. The witness will testify to the court, and it will be my job to perform the cross-examination. I know, I've played a few Phoenix Wright games before in my time, but for those of you who don't, I suppose this is a useful little tutorial. Bogo has no reason to lie, but we'll see what comes up, and if he has made any mistakes. Witness testimony! The crime. We're dealing with a murder. Uh, yes. The victim is one Jerry Jumbo Jr., who owned an ice cream parlor. He died from a single gunshot wound to the heart. The murder weapon was the service pistol belonging to Officer Nicholas Wilde. We also have a witness placing Officer Wilde at the scene. Well, that seems pretty clear cut. Hmm, based solely on that testimony, anyone would believe Mr. Wilde did it. I mean, based solely on that testimony, which is pretty much just opinion with little to no evidence. I mean, the best evidence they've got is... Okay, yeah, you've got the pistol, which is Mr. Wilde's, but he didn't mention the fact that it's only got his fingerprints on it, so could have been taken. And then he, he says he's a witness, but we haven't talked to the witness. Anyway, moving on. But that's where I come in. I take it you're ready to begin your cross-examination then? But I would be careful, right? Accusing the chief of police of perjury should shouldn't be undertaken lightly. Yeah, it would hardly be the first time. I'm ready to begin, Your Honor. <coughs> Very well. <coughs> Very well, then. The defence may begin its cross-examination of the witness testimony. Let's go. Hmm. We're dealing with a murder. Now, what I can do here is I can, for those of you who don't know, who I doubt there's many of, but I can either press, which means I press this point further and see what more new information I can get, or I can present evidence. Now, that's if I have evidence that shows some sort of contradiction. Otherwise, I'm just going to look stupid and lose some life, health thing. There's, there's a point system. Like, three strikes, you're out kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to press. Press everything, and hope that you find the right answer. And who was the victim? I'm getting to that. And honestly, it's worrying if you don't know that by now. I'm asking... Of course I know. I'm just asking for the court's benefit. <clears throat> then perhaps you should learn the art of patience right. Eh, <laughs> fair enough. Continue with... Continue, witness. The victim is one Jerry Jumbo Jr., who owned an ice cream parlor. These voices are everywhere. I'm sorry. Hmm. What more can you tell me about this stuff? Did the victim have many enemies? He sold ice cream for a living. So no, he did not. Well, a member of the ZPD is the accused. So did a... Did the victim have a history with the ZPD? What exactly are you suggesting? Nothing, I, I assure you. I'm just trying to ascertain the facts of the case. Well, if you must know, Officer Hops gave him a warning once for a Class 3 health violation. In other words, nothing to do with the case. Well, at least that explains why he wanted to keep the parlour so clean. Continue. He died from a single gunshot wound to the heart. Uh, the victim is an elephant, correct? Uh, eh, just saying those words. Just saying those words gave poor Edgeworth a con. A what? A conipetish. Conipetish. Hang on, I'm looking up what that word means. Coni. Coniptian. Google, save me. An ip.
A fit of rage or hysterics. C how's it said? Conniption. Conniption. Okay. Didn't know that word. Do now. Nice. Heh, <laughs> just saying those words gave poor Edgeworth a conniption. Ah, see, I'm learning. Yeah, it would appear he still isn't quite comfortable with our situation. Yes, the victim was an elephant. What of it? How good with a gun would you have to be to make that perfect shot? I think you'd have to... I think you would have to be trained to handle such a weapon proficiently. I see. And does the accused have those skills? If you recall, the accused is a police officer. He is trained to use a gun. Thus, he could have made the shot. Even then, any a amateur could have gotten lucky. So it is irrelevant. Objection sustained. Continue, witness. The murder weapon was the service pistol belonging to Officer Nicholas Wilde. Now, you see, on the right here, which might not be on the right after I've edited this, but this here is a lost property form filled out by Mr. Wilde about his missing service pistol. So I'm going to press first, see what other information might come up, and then I'm going to try presenting this, because that seems like the obvious option. Are you certain? <clears throat> no, that's my voice. Are you certain of that? The serial number matches, and his prints were found on the gun. Only his prints, might I add. Could the whip, could the killer have been wearing gloves? Uh, that is pure conjecture, and you know it. There is no evidence to suggest such a thing at this time. Uh, he's right. Damn it. Of course, as I realised earlier as I was going through the beginning of the game again, because it's had an update since the last time I played, yada yada yada, uh, I realised bunny rabbits don't have paw pads. So, if I'm not mistaken, which I could be, but I'm pretty sure bunnies don't have paw pads, it's quite possible that a rabbit could have fired that gun without leaving prints because they don't have paw pads. Just fur. No need for gloves, even. So, suspicious. Anyway, time to present some evidence. Objection! Yes. Objection. This piece of evidence... Oh, shit. It doesn't, does it? Are you calling me a liar? I don't see the problem here, right? Uh, neither do I. No, wait. Yes, yes, I do. I do. What? What is the problem? This is... This is fine. Obviously, this is lost property. Um... Hmm, great. It would appear the defence is merely grasping at straws. And thus has no real defence at all. Uh, whoops. Whoops indeed. Oh no! Shit. That's a lot of health. Come on, man. Oh, we are dealing with a murder. Yeah, the victim. Yeah. Die from a single... the weapon. We also have a witness placing... Okay, let's keep talking about this witness. And when will we be hearing from this witness? I am eager to hear what they have to say to the court. All in due time, right? Could you look any more evil, Edgeworth? F okay, now you just look... bored. <laughs> For now, I suggest you focus on the witness at hand. Hmm, is there anything in there? Shall I look again or move on? But I must be careful with decisions like these. The wrong one could doom the case. Because I want to present the lost property form, which I did, but apparently that wasn't quite right. Let's have another quick look. We're dealing with a murder. I mean, there's an autopsy report. Let's quickly check that. Time of death. One gunshot wound to the heart. Yeah. Do we have any info about how many times the gun was fired? No. Okay. The victim is one Jerry John Bow, who owned the ice cream parlour. Double check the profiles. Where is Jerry? There he is. Yep. Nothing wrong about that statement. He died from a single gunshot wound to the heart. Hmm. Maybe this is where I present the lost property form. Ah, don't know. 
out. Murder weapon was a service pistol belonging to Mr. to Officer Nicholas Wilde. Yep. Okay. We also have a witness placing the Officer Wilde at the scene. Hmm, was there anything in there? Oh! Bugger it, I'm moving on. Couldn't find anything. No more questions, Your Honor. Your Honor, you must see from this that Mr. Wilde is the primary and only suspect in this case. The evidence against him is substantial. So I can see. And after that testimony, I'm all but ready to give my verdict at this very moment. Uh, no. No. We need to talk to this witness first. Uh, don't you think that's a little premature, Your Honor? The defence is correct. We have yet to hear from my second witness. Ah, yes, the one who saw the defendant kill the victim. So she claims, anyway. She did... <clears throat> she did seem convinced. Says she saw the exact... Says, says she saw the exact crime at 1.15 exactly. Interesting. Let's double check this. Time of death. 1.10. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, witness. You may go. Very well. <clears throat> Hold, it. Hold it, indeed. Yes, Mr. Wright. You said the exact crime at 1.15 exactly. Those were her exact words? Yes. When we first interviewed her, she showed off this expensive watch of hers, just to punctuate how exact. Is there something wrong, Mr. Wright? If there is, if there is something you wish to share with us, please do so. Gladly, Your Honor. Oh, Jesus, that's a, that's a lot of life for me to lose. Uh, the autopsy. Double check that. Yep, time of death, 110. Present. Ha ha! Take a look at this. The autopsy report states the victim died at 1.10 that day, while the witness comes into play at 1.15. How did she see the murder when she arrived five minutes afterwards? How did I miss that? It would appear coming here was a shake... <clears throat> it would appear coming here has shaken Edgeworth off his game a little. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. My word! There is a whole five-minute gap between the killing and the witness's arrival. Uh, uh, the witness could have been mistaken. Her, her watch could be could have been wrong, for all we know. Oh, we won't know for sure until we get her out here. Still, still, wasn't the defendant's gun used in the murder? And his prints were found on it. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecutor is silenced because he is aware of my next piece of evidence. Next piece of evidence. The defendant appears to have used his own gun in the killing. So what piece of evidence casts that idea into doubt? The one I tried to show you earlier when it seemed, like, appropriate. Take that. Ah, take that. Uh, and this shows what exactly? It's quite simple, Your Honour. You see, this form was filled out by my client the day of the crime reporting that his service weapon had, in fact, gone missing. The defendant didn't have his gun on the day of the murder. Uh, be that as it may, only the defendant's prints were found on the gun. And while it is possible another culprit used gloves to hide his or her prints, it's just as likely the defendant faked the report to cover his own tracks. Oh shit, he's got me. But it does shed some doubt on the whole proceeding, so I'm okay with that. Uh, it appears that we're at a stalemate at this time. Uh, the defendant could have faked the report as part of their predetermined murder, or somebody took the gun and used it to frame Mr. Wilde. Uh, either way, I cannot give a verdict at this time. Uh, the prosecu The prosecution stands to the former theory. Mr. Wilde filed out a missing item report to make it appear his gun was gone, away from his grasp. Then, believing himself safe, he committed the murder. However, he did not count on the witness being there. Ah, I'm not through yet. My client was framed for this murder and I intend to prove it. 
with your next witness. Do you now? Well then, for Mr. Wilde's sake, I hope you have some good evidence to go off of. After all, the evidence makes the theories, not the other way around. Oh, don't worry. I'm well aware. <laughs> Try not to let that bravado go to your head, right? Still, I would now like to call my next witness. Bailiff, please bring out... Bring them to the stand, and I, I've completely lost his voice. Where is it? Hang on. Let me find it. Where are you, judge? Hmm. Find my inner judge. <laughs> Let's see if we can clear some of this up. Let's see... No, he's got a deeper voice than this. Let's see if we can clear some of this up. There we go. I think this'll do. Oh, it's you. Hello. Witness, name and occupation, please. <clears throat> so, Mr. Wright, I take it we shall be picking up where we left off? Where you were so rudely calling me a liar. That's a very interesting name and occupation. So, if I'm to get this right, are you saying your occupation is liar and your name is Mr. Wright? Interesting. Um... Witness, if you could please concentrate. I don't know what you are, Mr. Wright, but as an outsider of... T but as an outsider to Zootopia, I would be careful if I were you. Witness, name and occupation. Miss Witness, receptionist. Hmm, a receptionist. I wonder if she scares away anyone who comes near. Now, witness. You claim to have seen the defendant commit the murder. I did. Then how do you explain the difference... The... 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 the uh, shh. Then how do you explain the time difference? Hey, whose side are you on? Anyway, I did see it all. But my watch must have been five minutes fast. A simple mistake. And one you can hardly blame me for not noticing, considering. Uh, it's not every day that you see something that terrible. Uh, by a cop of all people. Exactly. Thank you for understanding. You stupid fat idiot. I bet I could tell you the pigs can fly and you'd believe it. Pigs? Flying pigs here? Ah, oh, that's fascinating. I'd love to see it. All right, could we please testify to the court the details of that dreadful event? If I must, I shall. Let's hear what you've got to say, my dear. What I saw. Oh, it was just dreadful. That fox just walked on in, but I could see everything through the front windows. They talked for a moment, and then the fox pulled his gun and killed the poor elephant. With a smirk on his dastardly face, he examined his work, and that's when I screamed for help. Startled, he dropped the gun. Soon after, the ZPD arrived and arrested the creature. I bet he did it because he is... because he is predator and the elephant prey. He is a savage, I tell you. A disgrace. Is it me, or does she have something against foxes? Mm, it might be something against foxes. Also, she's a predator too. Mm. So, that's everything. Yes, that's everything. Oh, sounds like quite the trying ordeal. Uh, this sounds like a very crooked cop to me. Oh, what could possess such a person to do such a thing? Oh, the killer is heartless, I must admit. Why him? What purpose drove the culprit? Was it truly just because he was a prey species? It must have been. What else? And yet my client is dating a bunny. Uh, nothing adds up. I need to do my cross-examination. I concur. Good. Witness, could you please? Now, let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, it was just dreadful. Yeah, okay. The fox just walked on in, but I could see everything through the front windows. He walked in. That's interesting because they were closed. 
and it was definitely a fox you saw. Yes, I saw the fox enter and do the terrible crime. Well, why are you inquiring about the species, Mr. Wright? Is there something you'd want to add to the testimony? Yeah, yeah, let's add that for now. I can present the bunny fur in a moment if necessary. Uh, if you could, please add that to your testimony. Oh, very well. It was definitely a fox I saw into that parlour. I'm going to press that again, see if I get more from that. Are you certain? Oh, this, is, this has been established many times, right? Stop pestering the witness. I'm not sure if I want to present the bunny fur just yet. Let's see what else we've got to say. They talked for a moment, then the fox pulled his gun and killed the poor elephant. Uh, so they talked for a moment. Yes, though I know not what about. And then he just pulled the gun and fired both shots. Both, as in two, at the poor elephant. I see. Uh, yes, there is. Witness, please add that to your testimony. Oh, and if you insist. Smirk on his dastardly face. He examined his work, that's what I screamed for help. He talked for a moment, then the fox pulled his gun and killed the poor elephant. Yes, but where's the bit about... That's what I screamed for help. Startled, he dropped the gun. Then he did it. It's a disgrace. He just pulled the gun and fired both shots. Uh-oh. Now you're in trouble. Now, where is it? Tells of an armed robbery. That was not... That's not it. Service pistol. Murder weapon. Only Mr. Wilde's prints were found. Cause of death. One gunshot wound to the heart. Oh no, it would seem I've got you. Autopsy. Unless there's any other better evidence. No, nope, I think that's it. Ha ha! Objection! Oh, Miss Ness, you slipped. Because the victim was only shot once through the heart. Gah! My word! Miss Ness, are you aware you've just committed perjury? Only a single shot was fired, so there is no both to speak of. The witness has lied to this court under oath, seeking to hide the truth. And I would very much like to know what, or rather who, you are hiding. As would I. Unless you can come up with an explanation, your credibility has just taken a severe beating. I would like to take this time to give my apologies to the defence. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, for you see, the next piece of evidence was a last minute find by the CP. It always is, last bloody minute, isn't it? <laughs> we did not have time to inform the defence. We barely registered it in time. No, but you didn't think to present it earlier, you know? Just as an important extra little tidbit, you just wait until I've got the witness cornered, and then, oops, more evidence. Yeah, I know your game, Edgeworth. Played it plenty of times. Actually, I haven't played your game. I've played Phoenix Wright's game. Still. Ne neither has it had a thorough examination, but it is still telling nonetheless. And it did not become overly relevant until now, so I did not reveal it sooner. Yeah, yeah, same old story. This bullet was found lodged in the far corner of the parlour. So in other words, there were, in fact, two shots fired. Oh, great. It's always, it's always the same with you, Edgeworth. Oh, no, I'm cornered. Better present my surprise evidence. Ah, bullshit. Bullet added to the court record. One of them missed the target while the other one hit. It also shows my earlier point that how the killer got lucky with the direct hit to the heart. Since one of them ended up missing and yet the other was so on point, the gun itself was empty, no bullets in the clip. He must have had only had those two loaded at the time. So the witness was in fact telling the truth. Two shots were indeed fired. And that, as they say, is that. What? Order! Order in the court! Oh, so there was no contradiction after all. All the defence's claims have been... invalidated. 
Oh, which clears up the remaining ounces of doubt within my mind. I'm ready to pronounce my first... No, no, hang on. Hang on. Look, where, where is it? I can see it here. Uh, was found in the victim's shop. Ballistic markings have yet to be examined. Your Honor, just one last thing. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. My mind has been made up. Good to see justice being served. Except it's not. But, but... No, come on. No. What have I done? No. Nicholas, no. Objection. Oh, wait. Edgeworth? Ah, uh, we're not done quite yet, Your Honor. What are you doing? You are about to win. Winning, losing, it's all irrelevant to me. The ultimate truth is what counts. Mr. Wright has something else to say, and I will not deny him the chance to say it. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You're very kind. You can't. Oh, but I can. If you're telling the truth, then surely you have nothing to worry about. Very well, Miss... <clears throat> very well, Mr. Edgeworth. But my mind is made up. You have one chance to change it. Waste the court's time, and the trial ends with a guilty verdict. Oh dear. Just gonna save the game <coughs> so I can go back. And see, Judy, this is what I mean about me and Edgeworth being a team. Alright then, what do you want to present? Damn it. Uh, it was found in the vi Okay, let's look at the evidence. We've got the bullet. It's found in the victim's shop. Ballistic markings sh have yet to be examined. Gun belonging to Mr. Wilde is also the murder weapon. Only Mr. Wilde's prints were found. Nothing else there. The autopsy report. Cause of death, one gun shot wound to the heart. That's not useful to me. Crime report. Tells of an armed robbery, Mr. Jumbo shot the day before the murder. One shot was fired by the robber. Ha ha! Yes! That's evidence. But it's that bullet from there. Gah! How do I prove it? Lost property. Bunny fur. I think it's just the one. I think it's just one piece of evidence. Oh, fingers crossed. Or paws crossed, or whatever digits on the end of paws are called. Aha! This is my evidence. G right. And how does this piece of evidence relate in any way? It's... One shot was fired. What more do you want? God damn it. Can't give an explanation now. Well, you see, uh, wait a moment. I gave you your a chance, Mr. Wright. Sorry to see this will be your second defeat. But what? But I thought for sure. So did I. Nick, Judy, I'm so sorry. No. 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 Wow, is that wrong? What's wrong with it? No. Oh god, what have I done? The end. Shit. Okay, back to the safe point. <clears throat> Never happened. Time travel or something. We're fine. Okay. So, tells of an armed robbery of Mr. Jumbo's shop the day before the murder. One shot was fired by the robber. Okay, that's something was found in the victim's shop. Ballistic markings have yet to be examined. That doesn't feel useful. The victim's shop was closed the day of the murder due to a robbery the previous day. Gun belonging to Mr. Wilde is also the murder weapon. Only Mr. Wilde's print wits were found. Victim's autopsy. File formed. Bunny fur. Hmm... I feel like it might be two pieces of evidence then. The closed sign and the crime report? I mean, they're both kind of linked by the fact that they're relating to that robbery where the shot was fired. So perhaps these two present and this. God damn it. Okay, no, that's wrong. Time travel, it's fine. Using my amazing lawyer powers of being able to tell when people are lying to me with my magic powers and being able to travel through time with my magic powers, I'm fine. 
All right, what piece of evidence might they be? These two. That one first. No, shit. Okay, no, not that one. What? What, what is it? Damn. It's not the lost property form. He can cover for that. Tuft of fur. Perhaps the fur first? Shit. No. No. No, 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 stop. Go here. Didn't mean to create a new save. Ah. Uh, damn. Perhaps it is just the close sign on its own? Shit. God damn it. Right then, what do you want to present? I'm just going to end up presenting everything. Honestly though, that's how I played the other game, so... Why not? No? No? Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. How do I present both though? That's not it. That's the wrong evidence again. Perhaps the gun and the crime report. Interesting. And the second piece, okay. And the crime report. This is my, uh, shit. Okay, so I'm right about the service pistol. What are we gonna do? Try and just push the bullet back through the barrel, see if it fits. Let's give that a go. Interesting. And the second piece. The the bullet. Take that. Uh, the gun and the second bullet. And there is no second bullet. No second bullet. What are you talking about? Then where did this evidence come? F I submitted come from. You did say you didn't have time to examine the bullet. If you had, you might have realized that it came from here. Ha ha! It happened to come from the previous robbery. Why you couldn't have just presented the crime report and said that, I don't know, but fine. Whatever. Ha ha! According to this crime report, the robber had a gun. The crime report also goes on to say how, while there were no injuries, one shot was fired. This means the second bullet likely came from there, as an examination will reveal. Which leads me to one final conclusion. Since the second bullet was not fired from Mr. Wilde's service pistol, that means the pistol in question only fired once, as given Mr. Edgeworth's claims. The magazine was empty when it was found. There was only one bullet in the magazine, which also shows a certain somebody hasn't been entirely truthful and they very nearly got an innocent police officer given the wrong verdict. In short, the witness was lying. Gotcha. Witness, is this true? If we take a 30 minute recess, we can examine the bullet's ballistic markings to find out. We will see whether they match Mr. Wilde's service pistol or not. Uh, th then we shall have take a 30 minute recess. 30 minutes later. And however much later it's going to be until the next episode, because I think, I think we've discovered quite a lot of things this time. Uh, for one, the witness was lying, which, okay, we kind of knew that already. Two, Edgeworth is a sneaky bastard who hides evidence until the last second. Uh, and three, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> but other than that, I'm going to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.